where we had actually three presentations on CAR-T. The first was the BB2121 CAR-T data from the KARMA trial, and this was the very much anticipated phase two trial uh, of uh, over 100, I believe it was 128 patients that were infused uh, with the BCNA CAR-T with the BB2121 construct, um, and they were able to show um, an overall response rate uh, in their 450 group of 81%, um, but overall response rate is 70, 73% of, uh, for all patients. Uh, the PFS in that group uh, for all patients was 8.6 months, uh, but 11.3 months in the higher dose group, which is encouraging. This sort of mirrored what they had seen in a phase one uh, with a median PFS of uh, about a year for, for all the patients, although the data was better for this phase two study uh, in the higher dose patients. And I think that's probably because these patients were a little bit sicker. I uh, had to have progressive disease going into the study. So a little bit different patient population than the phase one. But uh, it, it, be as it may, it really does give us an idea of what we're looking for as what we can expect from CAR T cell therapy for really heavily free treated patients, meeting a prior of six lines. So it's very encouraging data. I think it'll be good to have a little more longer term follow up to see what the duration of response is uh, for all populations of all the CAR T studies, uh, not just this one. Um, speaking of which, there was another CAR T study presented, which is the Janssen CAR T. So, this is the JNJ4528, also a BCMA based CAR T cell. And this had gotten a lot of buzz at ASH because the initial data um, had showed 100% response rate um, in, in their patients, uh, their initial cohort. Of 29 or so patients presented, um, and then they followed up on this uh, at ASCO and showed that all but one of those patients achieved a VGPR. So that's really impressive data. They don't have the long-term PFS data yet, but so far at nine months, they have, I believe, over 80 or 86% um, duration of response. So, so that looks very promising. So we'll see what the long-term follow-up is there. Uh, and finally, the Juno product, JCAR H125, also a BCMA-based CAR T cell, um, uh, was also presented at ASCO, and they showed a 92% overall response rate in their higher doses. Again, very short follow-up there, so we don't know yet. Um, but it's really exciting to see these new CAR T cells and the old ones still holding up for response rate, uh, remembering that it's very hard to get anything above 50% response rate in very heavily pretreated patients. So I'm excited to use this type of therapy a little bit more proximal uh, in the patient's course, not waiting to the last minute, um, but also uh, encouraged by some of the results. And then we also know that there's a longer to go. We want to see a longer duration of response, longer PFS over the long term as this technology develops further.